Hi, this is Tim from latest3dsgames.com and I'm here with a quick video of Spider-Man Edge of Time just to show you, guide you through a little tiny bit of the um, gameplay and game um, just show you a little few minutes of that it is a very good game it's um, heavily story driven and you get to play Spider-Man of the future and normal Spider-Man as well and what you do in one time frame affects the um, the world in the other time frame so it's quite cleverly done and it's got a really good storyline and uh, it's lots of fun to play, I've only played it a very, for a very short period to be honest, I've been so busy with other games and walkthroughs and work and goodness knows what hardly had the chance to play this one at all so it's been set on the side and I didn't even get around to doing the uh, gameplay video We'll just show you just a tiny bit of the game now. Graphics are really good. Sound, music, very good as well. And the 3D effect is excellent. Although um, it can get a little bit confusing, as do quite a few of the other 3DS games. When the um, action sequences are quite heavy, if you lose a little bit of tracking on it with your eyes, then you can kind of get a little bit confused for a time. Let's just show you a tiny little bit. We'll pretend we're starting a new game. Eddie, this, this is just the um, just the uh, beginning sequence. Crazy to control Spider Man. We're going to die here anyway, no matter what we do. So. These jump, double jump, and web jump doesn't make a lot of difference what you do in this because. I was just saying that. Oh dear. Let me train the radiation. Not this train, Eddie. Hang on, Parker. Just hold them off another few seconds. I'm almost there. And this is where um, the other Spider Man 2099 comes in. Okay, and that's just the uh, beginning sequence where you're kind of half controlling the game, but not really. And uh, we start the game like this, and uh, it starts off and carries on as a really excellent game. And there's lots of cutscenes. Whatever Sloan's up to, I've got to shut it down. And here's Spider-Man 2099 version. So, there's lots of kind of typical Spider-Man type moves, which you can see. They're crawling along the corridors. And it, as I said, it's heavily story driven. And it is really good fun. And a great game so far. I've only played it for oh, half an hour, an hour in total. But it is a really good game. And definitely one I think you're going to want to look out on Nintendo 3DS. So there's lots of bits of different types of action, I'm just going to show you some more. Ok, 
okay and I'm just going to show you a tiny bit more gameplay and oh, this thing's almost fully charged and I don't have a clue how to shut it down the chance is to get to the lab before it's too late quite, quite not too bad to, to uh, control so far So R is, I'm um, not going to worry too much about what I'm doing, but R is um, swinging on your web as you can see. And uh, you can shoot as well. Your web. B is jump and double jump and uh, web jump. And like I said, he's not he's not too bad to control at all. And the uh, 3D effect is really good on this game. Lots of typical Spider-Man crawling type action as we try and complete our missions. And there are loads of um, enemies, I know. I haven't played a lot of this game at all, but I know there's loads of fight sequences and loads of different story, story sequences and little kind of missions you need to uh, accomplish. And lots of different variety of game gameplay in this. So it's a, it is a really good game. And um, definitely going to be one for you to look out for on your um, Nintendo 3DS. So I'm going to pretty well leave it here. I haven't shown you much, but Almost at Walker's lab. I will um, do another video, and I, like I said, I will try and do a um, try and do a um, walk through at some point. Get back here. You can see it's intercut with um, sequences as well, cinematic sequences. And it all hangs together really well. Okay, I'm not going to be pretend I'm going to be any good at this. Because I'm not. You can use the left button to uh, use your, as you can see, uh, super decoy, accelerated decoy by pressing L to confuse the enemies. And uh, I'll only probably just confuse myself. So lots of different types of gameplay as I said and I'm gonna leave it at this point and um, I'm gonna say goodbye for now but like I said I will do some more videos of Spider-Man soon. It is a really good game and if there wasn't so many other 3DS games coming out and so many big titles I would have kind of, if I'd finished some of my walkthroughs I would have started a walkthrough on this one already because it is a really good game. So this has been Tim at latest3dsgames.com Thanks for watching.